Afara Paul nga nawo yila yelung a yil kan da ti a kulina men do sapa bi ye be di chawa ye le no e be a yil nga wona yila le na men ka ye na be wona ta chang o ma yang ye ban kan ba tu na yila ku wa yil nga le ke fusin ke men do re ngo ye ma ngo O yura fara jude bala fara jude bala bala correct um he's an associate pastor in uh, nandom the basilica a basilica so when you then don't mind the body it means ninkuna ninkuna uh, mind the engine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dar dar kan yana bila kuna vol zuplis ya wasin na che aha who knows che um he's uh, working on a this is a post graduate program okay post graduate diploma in uh, religious studies at uh, Cape Coast University here so he came to submit his final project work so we are so glad to have you here for the Jude and uh, we thank you for all the good things that uh, you and others are doing back at home. So we keep in our prayers and we hope you pray for us too who are in the diaspora. Okay? Welcome. My dear friends, I want to talk about the three P's. You know, P, P as in Paul, or P as in uh, Pia, or P as in people. I want to speak about some three P's that the risen Lord gave not just to his disciples, not just to the apostles, but to all of us Christians of all generations. The three P's. You know, today's gospel is a continuation of the appearance of the risen Lord to the two disciples who were on the road to Emmaus. You know, these disciples, if you recall the story, were part of the larger group who had put their hope in Jesus. And then Good Friday, they saw all that happened to him. And they saw his burial with a big stone over that tomb. They gave up all hope because they were so disappointed. They were downcast. So they decided to go back to their village. On that journey, in their despair, in their hopelessness, a stranger came and walked with them. And he asked them what the problem was. And they told him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? who haven't heard of all the events that took place, all that happened to Jesus of Nazareth, the one that we had put all our hopes in. But the leaders had him condemned and buried. Jesus opened their minds to the scriptures. How all that happened to him has been prophesied how they could go back to their scriptures, to the law, to Moses and the prophet, how they all spoke about what happened to him. And of course, eventually they got to the village, they invited him to dinner, and then as they had dinner, they recognized him. That is the Lord. These disciples ran back to Jerusalem to meet the other people, to meet Peter and the other group, to tell them that, yes, indeed, he's risen. We have seen him. 
just as Peter has confirmed. So, my dear friends, in the appearance recounted in today's gospel, the Lord establishes three features, three elements that will define or that will be a part of every authentic Christian community until the end of time. So, what are the three P's that I want to talk about? First P, peace. He gave us peace. Peace. He gives the disciples peace because they were in turmoil. They were devastated. They were in confusion and they were even in guilt because these followers had abandoned him. They denied him. He was left alone on that cross. They had betrayed their master. They were sorry, but they could not turn the clock back. Jesus knows what they needed most at this time. No rebuke, no reproach, not blame. More so, they were repentant for all that they had done and all that they had failed to live up to. And so, Jesus comes to them and the first thing he says to them is peace be with you. Peace be with you. To let them know that they were forgiven. And that is why my dear friends, their fear turned into joy as we are told in the gospel. What does this mean for us? It means that no matter, my dear friends, no matter what we have done, no matter what our past might have been, however horrible the things that we did, our repentance can bring new life. Our repentance can bring healing. It can bring forgiveness. St. John's writes in the second reading today, if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. St. Peter says in the first reading, repent that your sins may be wiped away. My dear friends, sin puts us into confusion. Sin leaves us with guilt. Sin leaves us in turmoil. But following the example of the apostles, if we repent, the peace of the Lord will be upon us. Peace that this world cannot give will be ours. Don't ever be shy. Don't ever be dismayed or discouraged about what your life has been, about who has defined or redefined you, about what your past has been. Turn to the risen Lord with full repentance and he'll grant you peace. So the first gift, the first Easter gift he gave to the apostles and to us is the gift of peace. The second P, his presence. His presence. His real presence. In the gospel we heard him as he tried to prove to them that he wasn't a ghost, that he was real, he said, it is I, myself, it is I, myself, touch my hands and my feet, a ghost has no bones, it is really me. Beloved, today, right now, right here, in this place, Jesus is truly among us through his Holy Spirit when we pray and when we gather with fellow Christians in faith he is present to us he says where two or three are guarded in his name he is in their midst we are more than two we are more than three and Christ is present here in our midst he is real. He is present more vividly in the Eucharist. In the Eucharist. 
which he gives to us as his own body and as food for our souls. He is with us, not just as a memory, but as surely as he was with the apostles in that upper room. Beloved in Christ, the presence of Christ is a wonderful gift. As we look at all the individuals in this church on this Sunday, we can reflect on the fact that the risen Lord is at work in the lives of each one of us. Each one of us with our own needs, with our own aspirations, and yet Christ is present to each one of us as if he was just here for you and for me only. He comes to each one of us in the Eucharist with particular graces that the individual needs for his or her life. The enduring, the lasting, the permanent real presence of Christ to us is his second gift that he gives to the apostles and to us. His peace, his presence, and now the third P is his purpose. His purpose. Besides his peace and his presence, there is also his purpose. The Lord sent the apostles to be witnesses of this new way of life, of this new truth that I entered the universe. The Lord sends us also out to be witnesses of the same truth. My dear friends, the church has so many great, great, great heroic witnesses to Christ's life and teaching. There are many saints, some who are yet to be canonized, who have been witnesses, who have lived this mission to proclaim Christ loud and clear to the world. We too are given the purpose as well. The story of Esther was not finished with the ascension of Jesus. Now we are part of that story. We have to carry out the mission. You know, I often ask people what the two most important days in their lives are. And I want to ask you too, what are the two most important days in your life? The day... What are the two most important days in your lives? Your birthday? The day you were born? And what's the second most important day? The day you die? Oh my goodness, Jesus. If you die, you are dead. It is not important to you. It's important to your family who will be fighting over your property or who will be struggling to give you a fitting burial. It will be more important to your spouse and your children, but not to you. I give you the answer right here. The second most important day is the day you know why you are here. The first most important day in your life, the day you were born, and the second one is the day you know why. Why am I here? What is my purpose? Did God just create you to add you to the statistics of the world? No. There is a reason why we are all here. And for us Christians, it is crucial, critically important that we know we are here on mission. We must make a difference in this world before we leave, before we return to our maker. And so today, just as Christ sent the apostles to be witnesses, to go and proclaim him, proclaim his peace, his love to all humanity, Christ is sending you too. You too, to go out and be his witnesses in your communities, in Cape Coast, and in Ghana at large. But remember this, charity begins. Therefore, whatever message of Christ, whether it is his peace, his love, his presence that you want to proclaim out there, start it at home. Start it at home. In Christabitaba, Azine, Kosira, Ayesu, and the year Kunumpo, Ogao Poturbezi, at the Dome Wilba, Chao Kuancho or Tarim at your Tarana, and then down with us one. Maron, 
Lenana karma e. Dana maron, dana maron, beuzie. Dana maron, dana maron, beuzie. Koya masa, ubrion, bari. Inclusive with Saba, the years I will not count that. Tabarachello, I will possibly make a year's number of years. I don't know how many people are coming. Che Adana Marno is sick of six years old, but the people are in the bar. Che Kebaji, I hear that in Daza, at not on pain, at not on son, years not on the same like Christmas beer. So in Sora and Christmas be Taba. Dans tous les rabbins, dans tous les barachello, il y a des gens qui ont été pour les 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 gens qui ont Pour nous Uta asona, asona mengine na bangwa maro zikiripua, asona mengine na bangwa maro au yidi me au au yirpua, una na bangwa maro au tumazi yepua, una na bangwa maro au kisa bilu nyavure pua, tito a bara chelo, a uchota a yeswa nande kuwa posole mne chada kote mene mene omenga, his presence, odia omenga a kote, to a yesu mene yelkurenya, katem na tem zat na olanta. Mumbete pacha kwa mumbete sana sore. Bid a yukaase pua, tima tayi kaase. Huma ukodi ya kati meka pua, tima kwa huma meka pua. A Krista la dena kama yeli. Aha, ampo huko a Yesu mgena au inga na karamande aponi ta atota. Ampo huko a Yesu pete inga angata nambe inga dena. So kunande omenga akote, amasini kaka kure chelo pa 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 akure no. Akute joy nabo popialo aha akute popialo anga posuli mile uno pale ka tapi nza baje ka popialo po akavana katika katika a a abonga awareness na ka Jesus rimbete inga upete zie tig tigle se kara tachelo te tachelo travi anga yelza friend bika tapi nza far za pirate Aye long kang ye mengil pa enga. Ita zero da biya. Iyo mune ita zero da biya. Iya fade tuwa kresta ni darikam. Ita zero da biya. Ita zero da biya. A Christian behuzien, a behusikirin, a behunywa voren. Suta na kumbaya biyelza, suaba kumbaya biyelza, nengine kumbaya biyelza, bela bela kumbaya biyelza, zirimbarza kumbu biyelza. Weapons that a suta na mwanam form against home, o kumbanya iyoza. Nyole, kaya jelo wabu, nyaho dagara. Kuwa hapa boda, yuko na yeta zuri da pia, yeta zuri da pia inuwe. To, aiyela ata swa unande kuwa posole mnecha de kote mna ama, ka tewa utontonba, tewa uwe diareba, apanta au nom, 
ana omaro ayin ayona tendaza ambaya an kan yela lena ka charity man beginning at home ka tinin bora ka tida yesu nom ayiku nuba yenge awu ka yesu siri ire akun puo aw kun na pomin change tin your fue te wa nuba na wa nom nuba nuba na wa maro nuba nuba wa pom pialo nuba se ka pa mpil ati die be wala kono ba ku yani abo na bata be aha anna ka latin ma yeli kan nemo dat quad non habit nemo dat quad non habit hokum bande bon ko tok na bata so ka hum bata nom ho die ya abata ma ro ho die ya kono ba yi yati ko ni ya ati ma ma ta pa alko ni ya aha ka hum bata ma die che yi yeng kono ma nyenye za an hul kan ya ko purbu ko cho Otomana kainga temola huyele Otomana kainga temola huyele Kainga temola huyele